Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Well, the projects on the off-grid home continues, of course. I can't wait for the day when the projects are done. And only have like some small projects here and there. I don't like when the list just goes on forever. Um, but anyway guys, today's video is going to be uh, um, just a little bit different. Um, I get the question a lot, um, you know, because my house is not done yet, right? So most of you guys know, like, my bathroom is not not done yet, right? So I am using a porta potty right? So, you know, that's one thing. Um, but when it comes to refrigeration and stuff, um, in my old off-grid little cabin, I had a regular refrigerator and stuff, and it was running off solar, and that's great. But because I'm in my new place now, and I don't have that place anymore, um, I'll show you guys what I'm using for a refrigerator, which is um, pretty unique, um, I have to say. And it worked. I mean... I am not advertising before I show you guys what I'm using for a refrigerator and stuff. By any means, I am not advertising for these guys, okay? Um, this, th the thing I'm about to show you is very expensive, okay? Very expensive. <laughs> I mean, for the money that I spent on what I'm about to show you guys, um, I could have easily bought a, you know, a decent size, regular, you know, really nice refrigerator. Um, but... Because I'm not set up for the regular refrigerator right now because I don't have enough solar. I mean, I have enough solar, but I haven't installed my um, new system yet, my new off-grid solar system. So with that said, let me just go ahead and show you guys what I'm using for a refrigerator. Now, this refrigerator is a regular refrigerator on one side, and on the other side, it's a freezer. So I can freeze, like actually really freeze stuff, like make ice, everything freeze on one side and the other side is the refrigerator and in both sides i can adjust the temperatures so if i want both sides to be a freezer i can absolutely do that if i just want one side to be a refrigerator and the other side to be the freezer i can do that as well or if i want both sides just to be the refrigerator side and no freezer i can do that and, and it has the capability of doing all of it and i've tried it all and it all works but i found what works for me so let me take you guys over here real quick so what you guys are looking at is a Dometic. Uh, Dometic, what they do is they sell um, um, chest freezers, chest refrigerators, I should say. Now, what makes this one really unique is, for one, as you guys can see, I have the plug going up to there, right there, to the outlet. That's what's powering it right now off my solar panels outside, which is actually being ch it's charging my batteries, and then it's being converted to AC, and that way I have AC in my home, right? So now with that said... Um, I can run it off regular electricity. Okay, no big deal there, right? But I can also run this directly off batteries, like solar, like your car. So let me show you right here in this pocket. So you can unplug the, um, the AC cord, right? Uh, and then they have a... a a plug right here at the end that you can plug into the side and this basically what does that look like a basic cigarette lighter right so what these are made for really is like camping um traveling that kind of stuff so you can use a cigarette lighter right but as you guys mo most of you guys know cigarette lighters are just running off usually 12 volt dc right this can actually run off 12 volt dc or 24 volt dc and 120 volt ac so there's um, technically three different ways to power this device here and accomplish the exact same thing for your refrigerator or your freezer so it comes with a little plug what you guys see there is the um, the cover or the um, insulated blanket or cover you should say and it helps to keep like when the sun is on it and stuff like that it helps to maintain the the temperature inside so that way it's not just you know going anywhere so let me put this back in a little pocket here I've never shared this with anybody because um, you know, I just never thought about it, but then everybody keeps asking like, Hey, how do you keep your food cold? How do you keep things frozen? And so I'm like, okay, well, I'll just make a video about it so you guys can see. So, um, I'll just go ahead and open up the top here. So this is just, as you guys can see, it is insulated. It's kind of semi cushiony, but not too much. So that side opens up and that side opens up, right? So now you guys can see we have two different bays here. And I've been using this for a very long time, guys. Uh, I just never made a video about it, but here it is. So um, we have two different bays. So the way I have it set up right now, so on this side, you guys can see the temperatures. So on the freezer side right now, we are negative 
four degrees Fahrenheit. And on the uh, refrigerator side, we were at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, 32. So right now with this light on over here, it's indicating that it's chilling this down even more. Uh, so it'll go, I think I have it set for negative seven. Um, you can go like ne negative 11, but negative seven, um, or even right here where it's at works really well. Uh, and then I've definitely played with this side over here, the 32. Um, but I, I find the 32 works out good. Um, but I have tried freezing the other side and I can freeze both sides. So whatever I'm doing on this side, I can do on this side or I can flip it, whatever I want to do. Uh, so you can have, you know, power on and off. Um, this basically adjusts your temperatures here. Uh, this is your set. So you can set different things. You can even change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I can also control this um, refrigerator freezer um, via my phone. Because there's an option on this that allows you to turn on a Wi-Fi. This creates its own Wi-Fi. And then that way you can actually tap into it. And um, no, it's either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. No, no, Wi-Fi. Yeah, Wi-Fi. Um, it creates its own Wi-Fi. And you can go into your phone or whatever and select it. And then there's they come there's a local app that you can download on your phone for it. I don't know if it's available on um, iPhones, but I know it's available on Android. And so, like, say you're traveling down the road and you got this in the back of your vehicle, Right? And um, you don't want to stop because you're on a long journey. You can easily open up your phone and adjust the temperatures on either side of the bay. You can change them on the go, right? Um, I was playing around with it for a while, but I, I noticed that because I don't really need that feature because it just sits here. It doesn't move. I just, you know, set it to the temperatures I want and just let it go. But it does have that feature that you can adjust it wirelessly from your phone. Okay. So I don't got too much stuff in here because this is just basic here. So the lid, it's got a little latch underneath here so you press right you lift up and it's got its own seal that goes all the way around and as you guys can see it just got some food in there some iced tea some beer uh some leftover food some eggs whatever right and this side i mean this is cold 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 guys super super cold okay um so this is just the refrigerator side you can throw anything in here whatever you want to do but um that's what i got in that for now <coughs> and then on the freezer side let me open that up so you guys can see we have ice in here, right? Right? Ice. In fact, I have an ice bag in here that's frozen that if I need to make cold drinks or something uh, for outside or whatever, you know, and then I just, just got, you know, basic foods in here that's all frozen. Uh, it works very, very well. I got a cold pack in here, staying frozen. Um, you know, just depends. It's, it's just, you know, food storage, guys, to keep it nice and frozen. But man, it works great. Uh, so you're supposed to clean this thing out. Um, they say at least twice a week, you know, empty everything out, turn it off, and then let it, you know, if it's you know, if it's built up with frost, let it defrost, wipe it all down to keep it clean, and then, you know, go again. But what I've been doing, it, I've been doing it like once a month, and it seems to be fine. It, it, all they're trying to do is just, you know, they're basically telling you just to kind of keep your refrigerator clean, right? <laughs> so that's all it is. But yeah, that's basically my refrigerator, guys. Very, very simple here. Um, it's got a little fan on the side. So let me close this back up here. Right here on the side, um, you can feel like semi-warm air um, coming out because it's, you know, chilling everything down. You guys can probably hear it. And it comes with these heavy-duty handles here. Now, here's the thing, guys. This unit is very expensive honestly i think overpriced um also it is a big chest freezer it is heavy it's hard to move with one person because it's so wide that by the time you stretch out and try to carry it it's awkward especially if you have stuff in it oh my god but that's why they give you good heavy duty handles right so you can fill it up um, or if you need somebody to help you carry it, you know, you got the handles to carry it. And it's got another little pocket in the front. So if you want to throw something inside of it, um, whatever. But I don't believe, I can't remember, guys. I bought this so long ago that I cannot remember if the insulated cover comes with it or not. I don't know. I forget. I think, I'm, I, think I had to buy that separate. Which kind of made me mad because this should have been included with the price. Because the price, like I said, guys, is so overpriced. It's insane. So this should have came with it, but I, th I think I ended up having to pay extra for it. And I don't even think it was cheap. I think it was like, I don't know, 30 or 60 bucks just for the cover. Um, but I figured since I already blew all the money on it, 
well, what's a what's another 60 bucks at that point right uh so yeah that's basically what i used and i believe the one i'm using is the biggest model that you can buy from domatic it is the biggest chest um re refrigerator um freezer um combo so it's a split unit right some of the smaller units is only one bay and you can basically only pick if you want refrigerator or freezer or you can turn it down to the freezer mode and throw all your like stuff that needs to be frozen at the very bottom and then the stuff that is only like refrigerator style on the top um but it's more hard to control the um the the current the ambient temperature in there because you know you have stuff that's trying to be frozen and you have stuff that you don't want to have frozen so i decided to go where it had a split bay and uh, i believe this is the 90 95 model i don't know what it's called i think it's cfx 95 i believe or 105 i think it's 95 uh, but it's the biggest one you can buy from them so anyway guys if you guys are interested i mean i'm not advertising for them by any means but it does work for my for my um applications and I um, just wanted to share with you guys how I keep my food cold and, um, you know, frozen. And so it definitely does work well. we got the sheep out there warming, um, making their rounds again. Every afternoon, they come out to my house. So they're slowly making their way over here. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, just a quick video on the, um, the refrigerator freezer thing I got. So anyway, guys, if you guys like the videos, hit that like button, not subscribe, subscribe, because I got lots of content coming up, lots of things going on. Um, now, somebody asked me before I finish this video, why didn't I just buy a regular refrigerator? Now, um, I was thinking about it, but I budgeted for that already. So I have m the money sitting aside for that refrigerator I want to buy when I get to it. Okay. Um, but here's the thing. This is going to serve multiple purposes, right? So, you know, once my house is built and I have my regular refrigerator in here, then I can use the one I'm using now. To put throw in the back of my vehicle throw in the back of my car so when i go to work or i travel or i go across the island or camping or whatever i got something that works very well that can keep my food nice and cold and or frozen i mean this thing will freeze ice guys i've put <laughs> um you know like your um um cartons of milk or whatever you know you rinse them out and you put water in them for like a block of ice i've put it in there and that thing is, is frozen in a couple hours um i just turn the temperature all the way down and let it fire away and it goes as far as the power consumption on it um it's not too bad um considering you know how big it is it's not too bad but i forget the actual power usage on it guys it's been like i said a couple years since I, I'm, i've had it already so anyway guys uh thanks for tuning in and i'll definitely see you guys on the next one